Hey, this is Reed's Reviews. Today I'm going to look at this Canyon by Electro Harmonics. In order to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see what I'm doing, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this knob off. Okay, so let me go over the hidden effects or the secondary uh, effects for these different modes. Um, these can be turned on by just pushing this tap divide button and holding it down. You can see that that's blinking now. It's telling me that it's that it's on. Now, let me go over what they'll do for each one of these modes. And when I say they'll, I mean, uh, I'm talking about the delay and the feedback knobs and how they'll be different than they were when you're not in the secondary mode. First, the echo mode does not have any secondary effects on top of it. But the modulated mode, it will change the modulation rate and depth. So the, how fast it modulates, as well as how much it changes the pitch of the modulation. Oh, let's turn the pedal on. In a lot of cases, these are kind of radical uh, effects to some degree. Okay, so that's modulation. Now let me move to the multi. The feedback will continue to be what it is normally, and the delay will change to uh, alter those beats. So remember multi is multiple repeats of the, the input signal at the same volume, but now we can actually change whether or not the volume will increase with each of the repeats or decrease. So let me uh, show you that. Let's put the feedback in the middle. Okay, when it's all the way down, it just repeats. Just repeats once. If I then start to crank this, it will gradually get quieter. I move it to the right of the dial get louder after a few um, seconds. Let's go ahead to the next, which is the reverse. This one is tough. This one has been tough for me to pin down exactly what it's doing. It says in the manual that as you move it to the right, the pluck attack sensitivity is increased. As you move it to the left, it's decreased. The default is with it all the way to the right. So that means if you don't tweak the secondary setting, it will be all the way to the right, which is the most sensitive with regards to the pluck attack on the reverse. Hopefully that helped. All right, let's go to the next thing. This is the Deluxe Memory Man emulator. And both of the knobs will change modulation. So the modulation um, rate and the modulation depth. And this is similar to the way the modulation mode handle the secondary features. But again, this sounds a little more kind of drastic. This is, that's the, <laughs> that's the rate of just the modulation. So this is the, uh, the pitch changing uh, of the delay. Anyway, okay. So the next one is tape. Tape's kind of cool. This changes the distortion, and this changes kind of the modulation uh, of the uh, kind of staticky uh, delay. So I turn this up. You can see, you can hear the distortions increased. As I move this up, you can just see the modulation is, is increased. All right, so let's go to the verb, and the delay will be the time of the reverb. Let me do it again. So the delay is the time. So the amount of reverb. And the, uh, the feedback now is the tone. So it's brighter to the right, duller to the left. 
octave. All right, so with the octave, the octave up level or the volume level of the octave up um, sounds will be increased with this. And this is the octave down. So you can hear both of them there. If I turn this down, you won't hear the lower. You'll hear the upper. Then you'll hear the upper really loud. And if I want to bring this to the right, you'll hear the upper and the lower echoes. Upper and lower octaves echoes. Okay, so shim. Again, this is kind of the modulated sound, but what this does now is the low pass filter is on the delay. So you can hear more high frequencies when you move it all to the right than if you move it to the left. Okay. And the modulation depth is changed with the feedback. So you can get some really funky pitch swings there. All right, and the last one is the volume decay and swell um, of the sample and hold, and that will be the delay knob. So it's getting louder as the echoes go on. <laughs> Starts out loud and goes soft. All right, so this the, the feedback has no effect on the um, sample and hold. All right, in the loop, you do not have any secondary features on the loop. And then if I want the secondary to go off completely there. And the thing that gets a little tricky is when you have the tap tempo, the custom tap tempo, because the light's blinking then too. And, it, you know, it's, it gets a little confusing when you've got both the secondary on and the tap tempo going on. Hopefully that was a little bit helpful with regards to these secondary effects. If you like guitars and are into effects, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly reviewing new and older pedals, and when I do, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.